We just had a really cool kick-ass panel of The Walking Dead, and I'm here with John Berthal and Steve Yoon from The Walking Dead. How are you guys doing today? I'm good. Good, man. Good. Real happy to be here. Now, uh, you guys kind of have two different contrasting characters. Steve, I think you're kind of like the heart of the show, maybe. They, they called you the Hurley of the show. Kind of like the, 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 the man, like the badass, like the really gritty guy, right? And then he's like the, <laughs> he's like the huge pufta. <laughs> like, yeah, they kind of portray you as like the weak, kind of yeah, yeah. feeble guy in the show. Yeah, 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 the whole thing. I'm like really into sort of like my appearance, like oh, manicures, you. pedicure, that kind of shit in the apocalypse. So, yeah, man, very different characters. Like, you're in the kitchen and, and, and Steve's out there. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm there to I'm serve him. I'm working on cars, you're working on omelets. That's yeah, that's yeah, I'm working on omelets. All kidding aside, I'm sure you got, do you guys get any like contrasting fans coming up to you? Because, you know, you've kind of done some things in the show that some people might be a little... I'm not offended, but you know, yeah, yeah. have you had any fans come up to you just kind of like, I can't believe you uh, yeah, slept with yeah. your best friend's girlfriend? Including my, my grandmother who <laughs> calls me up and balls me out for sleeping with my best friend's wife in the woods. And especially since I just got married, she also yelled at me for doing that since I just got married that I shouldn't be doing that on TV. So yeah, I get that kind of stuff all the time, especially for my own family, it seems. No, something I think that's kind of intro to the show that I haven't really heard talked about much. It's kind of set in the South, and I kind of feel like it has, it's kind of a character in and of itself of the show. Do you guys feel that way, that having it be in Atlanta and being in the South has kind of given it a, a certain tone? Yeah, I mean, uh, there's that whole vibe of Atlanta, you know, the, the whole Southern, like, kind of rich with culture and uh, super hot but beautiful. I think it's an essential part of the story. I think it's there for a reason, and I think the Atlanta crew and, and all the people that come on and work on the show who are local hires add this sort of Georgian flavor to it that I think it, it really it really is a big character in the show. And I think also since Rick, Lori, and Shane were saying come from this small town that I know in the comic it's Kentucky, but we're saying it's Georgia in the show, and I think that that really you know, adds a adds a color as well. I think it's it's essential that we shoot there, and I love that we shoot there. Now, w I know you guys can't give us much, but what can you guys say about season season two here? Man, you know, to be quite honest with you, we, we know nothing. Like, if we could give it to you, I maybe I would, or I might like allude to something, but we got nothing, man. All I can do is hope. Now, you you guys read the the comic, so or you at least know what happens in the comic. So, and, and be, you might be a little scared for your lives, right? Well, definitely, man. I mean, look, I, I shouldn't have even been here this long, and, and uh, I love this job. I love working on I love the people I work with, and uh, I want to stay a part of it as long as possible, but I also want to further the story and, 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 and uh, be a part of making the show as good as it possibly can be. So who knows what's going to happen with Shane? I don't know. Um, but like Steven said, honestly, we have, like, I know that we're going to start sometime this spring. Besides that, that's, we know nothing more. Well, good luck, guys. And and from a comic book fan, it's really nice to see a show like this break out and bring like a whole new group of people into a, a comic book that they would not know. I mean, I know grandparents, mothers, everyone watches it. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Thank you, man. Thank you very much. And stay tuned for the rugged.com for more exclusive coverage of the amazing Arizona Comic Con.